Hello everyone, it's Lucy from Quest for Nectar and today we're kicking off the Pond Watch weekend by taking a closer look at some of the wildlife that we've got here in our little pond in East London. Our pond is small, it's only about a metre and a half wide and about a metre deep, but it has provided hours of entertainment throughout lockdown. Lots and lots of wonderful wildlife that we've been spotting and I can't wait to share it all with you. Let's dive in. So one of the first critters that we spotted in our pond was a water louse or a hog louse. These are pretty fearsome little crustaceans and unsurprisingly they are actually related to wood lice and other crustaceans like crabs and lobsters. And they spend their time mooching around and grazing on rotting vegetation. Another sinister looking creature is the flatworm. I thought these were leeches at first, but they are actually freshwater flatworms. And they cruise around all over the pebbles and the stones at the bottom of our pond, looking for tiny water fleas or other prey to gobble up. Next up, we've got amphibians, in this case, frogs. So our tadpoles have taken just over 10 weeks to transform from those tiny little jelly blobs into tiny little froglets. And it's been so entertaining to watch them grow those legs and gradually start to use them. So you might need your night vision goggles on for this one, but that is actually a toad. And we were super excited last week to find the first toad using our pond. And now they are nocturnal and they often stay in one place for quite a while over the summer. So we're hoping that he makes a dent in our slug population. A really beautiful and delicate looking creature is the mayfly larvae. And they are so fascinating to watch with those lovely fluttery gills. And in spring, they explode out of their own skin and zoom off into the sky as adults. Just beautiful. One of the more unexpected visitors to our pond are honeybees. So we've discovered that every day that we have dozens of them coming down for a drink and to carry those little water droplets back to their hives to cool down. Having a pond is a great water source for lots of different creatures, especially during the summer months. So this pigeon comes every day and he brings his girlfriend as well. And we also have a flock of sparrows and even a fox that comes for a drink. And of course we've had some damselflies and dragonflies as well. So we've had a large red damselfly. Um, one of the most spectacular ones was a female emperor dragonfly ovipositing, so laying her eggs in the pond. And just yesterday I found an exuvier. An exuvier is the skin of a dragonfly nymph that it leaves behind after crawling out of the pond and turning into an adult. I think this one is a common data nymph, but do let me know what you think. I hope you've enjoyed taking a closer look at the wildlife making use of our little wildlife pond here in East London. Make sure to join me tomorrow when I'll be giving you some tips on how you can attract some wildlife of your own.